Hello guys, welcome to Into Boxing. I am delighted to be joined by the big man himself, Mr. Dean White. How you doing? Good. How are we? I'm all good, you know, all good, man. Yeah? We're just here at the, what is this, the press conference, isn't it? It no, is, yeah, yeah, I'm it just is. trying to remember where it was. Of course, you know. important thing to do, remember. Yeah, no, normally I just attend, I normally attend the, the weigh-in, so that's what the, you know, like, uh, the, so that's why I was kind of like, wonder what it was. I ain't really paid no attention, really. But look, that's good to hear. Promising stuff. <laughs> no, cause I'm bloody their interviews. You know, like, I know. You know, you're very well sought after, man. It's mad. It's no, part I'm, of the I'm, uh, prolific situation that you've got going. Yeah, no, I'm, and I'm happy. You know, like uh, equally, I put my work in and I respect each and every channel that does their thing as well because it's not easy. It's a, it's a craft, and you've got to put the groundwork in and build. So you know, I always give them as much time as I can unless I'm really hungry. Then I, I'm, yeah, I've got to try and get off, but, you know, um, yeah, credit to everyone who's building and growing, man, you know what I mean? That's, that's what we're here. I mean, obviously, the ghost, you know, the ghost. The ghost is here. The ghost. He's just there, the actually. Um, <laughs> actually, it's a really, really is exciting it? card on Saturday night. We've got a lot of London, you know, big London names. There's a South London derby as the main event. We've got Riakor v Dion Juma. Uh, it's a split, you know, a lot of the viewers are Listen, split on, the, on what's going to be the outcome. What's your prediction? Do you know what? Let me, let me go back a few steps. Like you said, credit to these boys, Sky and Boxer, you know, putting on all the guys um, and giving them a great opportunity and a platform to go out there and do their thing. Some of these guys didn't get opportunities many different places, matching, wherever they were boxed and they, and they didn't get the love. And now it seems like a lot of them have got home and they're going to get out on this platform and do good stuff. It's a great card because it's nice to see a lot of the brothers, local brothers doing things. And it's a great fight, Richard Riakpo versus The Ghost. And, uh, you know, uh, I wish both guys luck, man. It's going to be a good fight. You very diplomatically didn't answer the question that I posed, Dean, but I picked up on that. <laughs> uh, what is your prediction for the main event? A win, because someone must win. No, <laughs> who's going to win? Come on. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure who's going to win, man. Look, skills pay the bills, they say. Richard's got great punching power. Let's see how it really holds up. Obviously, some people say beyond uh, June is in inactivity. I know you caught about three, four weeks ago. Um, might play a part, I don't know. Richard's been active. Richard's, they were talking about the better guys. Richard Faze, Hyde, Massey, Chris Billen Smith. He has the stellar bigger names, yes. Um, and a lot of the times he's got out of them jams with that big right hand. Is that going to be the key on Saturday night? Is that going to happen again? I know the goal says Southport. Anytime someone fights a Southport, is is nightmares. It's real nightmares. Freddie, <laughs> Freddie on Elm Street. That's what that is. So, <clears throat> you know, Nightmare Elm Street, that's that kind of caper. Um, but like, I'm just looking for a good fight, you know. At the end of the day, obviously, whoever wins, it not, doesn't really make much bones to me. Obviously, I know Richard, you know, we worked together in the past. I wish him, you know, good. Obviously, he's a South London boy, so we could lean to that if we were saying, oh, because he's a South London guy, whatever. Um, but, you know, I wish both guys well, man. This is boxing. I know I know, do, 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 do me a long time as well. So, um, I just, you know, both guys are winning in life and in this boxing scene. Yes. So that is the most important thing. Yes. You've got to big them up on that. Yes, you know and they're I mean? on a great platform for it. What Absolutely. a fantastic platform it Absolutely. is. Absolutely. Um, obviously, you know, what's great about the boxer shows, the Sky Sports setup at the moment, is that they're giving that platform that opportunity to loads of like, talent coming up through the ranks, you know. On this same show, we've got debutant Shannon Ryan, who's obviously been signed yeah. to 258 Man. She, she's been she's been there waiting a long, a long time to get her time. So it's great that you, and the good that you mentioned her, big up her that she's gonna go and showcase her skill because I've seen her in the gym. She's been working for this whole time so before lockdown and worked through and now she's getting her moment and it's a great opportunity, great talent, and I hope she goes out there, shines and delivers. Yes, I mean really testament to actually her dedication because you know she's been there behind the scenes waiting for that opportunity and now that opportunity is here. And also we've got um Jamie, Jamie. Yeah, I don't know his name. Jamie, I know Jamie. Jamie, Jamie um, used to come down to the girls quite a lot and spar with yes. IFB Porter, so we know him quite well. Every way, you know, yeah. that we hear a lot about him, um, so obviously we've got that as well. But aside from, obviously, the main event, what fight are you specifically... Dan Aziz is my guy as well, so yeah. I forgot Dan Aziz for the... Uh, yeah, and Chris is my boy, so obviously I'm supporting all of the local boys, but I'm coming to see Chris do his team, um, and I'm coming to see Dan Aziz do his team, English champ. He hopefully gets redemption and goes and whoops some ass. You know I, mean? I, don't, I don't know nothing about the boy he's fighting, but I heard that that guy gave him a good ass whooping uh, as an amateur. So hopefully he comes and seeks redemption yes. and gets that win back. I mean, look, we've heard that it's, it's actually it's going to be quite a 
Uh, yeah, well, that's what I've heard. I don't actually know much about it, uh, but that's that's what's you know been in the sound waves. Well, we're gonna find out Saturday night, man. But like I said, all in all, we've got a great stacked card. It's starting really early. That's the only thing for me. Do I'm you know what time? They said it's um, doors open 4:30. First fights at five. That's pretty early. And that's probably be challenge fight as well, you know. Yeah, so I probably end up missing uh, maybe them early. Or they might get there around six. I don't know. Seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see. Um, um, brilliant night coming up. Obviously, really exciting. You've got your uh, show coming on the 14th of May as well. I think you've really. got a great presenter doing that. Yeah, she's not bad. Could be better. <laughs> oh, sorry, she's you. Yeah, my bad. I mean, she's awesome. Yeah, sorry. Forgot she was here for a minute. God, uh, this guy. <laughs> no, I'm joking. So your show, really exciting, 14th of May. Yeah. Uh, really happy it didn't actually clash with the Richards Boatsy fight. Hold on, let me stop you. I didn't care. I, know you I didn't was care. happy tomorrow. I no, do you know you I'm a businessman. I'm a businessman. And irrespective, I, uh, listen, my, my, the shows have clashed a few times with Riders, Date, and um, what's the guy, Jacobs. Obviously, in terms of Craig's my boy, Boatsy's. Be, my guys were well, from the end, but obviously I'll, I'll do a lot more with Craig. I didn't want it to, to clash, but I had to just put my business hat on and say, it, it's irrelevant. Because I know it, it's yes. just one of them things. Because in the world, things are going to clash with many different things. Mm -hmm. You know, so, but for me, it was just, I, I picked this date and I, I've got my date out there and I've got my tickets out there. I got them out as quickly as possible. And I said to these matches, why do you want to put this show on on the 14th anyway? I'm just saying there's bloody no, minds. I'm happy. Obviously, from, a, from your perspective, you didn't care if it was a business decision for you to plow forward. But for, from a fan perspective, yeah, yeah, now yeah. they get to get the best of both worlds, right? Yeah, they get to absolutely. enjoy your show, be there, get, show uh, that support, and then obviously, you know, because yeah. it's a South yeah. London, South London situation, so obviously they get to be at both. So it's really, No, absolutely. Really yeah. In that aspect, it's, it's definitely good. Yeah, I mean, yeah, so. But yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm I'm just going to kind of do my thing and crack on and not be held back because you know, if it was down to these guys, I wouldn't be doing anything anyway. So, <laughs> so good luck. Um, good. Yes, and on that note, we'll leave it there. Dean, Absolutely. thank you so much Thanks for your time. Much, I really Cheers. appreciate it.